My name is Annie. I'm 18 years old. I'm from Farakaway, which is in New York City. It's surrounded by water on three sides. The beach is really what Farakaway is all about. Sandy happened October 29, 2012. And around 8 p.m., that's when we really started seeing the water come in and we heard like the gushing sound in our basement. The water was taller than me. It felt like I was dreaming, like this couldn't be happening. And you're at that point when you have to think, like, how are we gonna get out of the house? Are we gonna have to swim? I was just so scared. I think New York believes that we're a city that can't be touched. So for Sandy to happen to us, we felt it was like really surreal. There weren't any more buses or trains. There was no public transportation. So I wasn't able to go to school for like a week. Farakaway was most affected because we're right by the water. For us to have flooding, it devastated us. Right after Sandy, we stayed in our house for like a month because we didn't have anywhere to go. I was in the 10th grade and I'm here. I'm like, my power is out. I have no hot water. I lost my house. It was really hard. I spent most of my sophomore year living in a hotel room. I only had one suitcase full of clothes because we lost like everything. Right now we're living in the Bronx. We finally got our own apartment. It's not home, but we're trying to make it as homely as possible. I don't think anyone did anything to deserve this, to lose their home, to have to relocate. For the people who think that Sandy is done and forgotten, I want them to know that people like me still exist, that we're still here, we're still struggling. <laughs> We still want to go home, but we can't because we have nothing to go to. I was telling them that they can come and see my house and see the damages and see that it still exists. I hope people wake up and see that climate change is happening. People are losing lives in homes. Like, it's real. How can you not want to change this? How can you not want to help? It's important to know not to lose hope. If we don't stop our CO2 emissions, it's only going to get worse. Storms are only going to get bigger. More people are going to lose their homes. We don't have a choice. We have to do something. I think we're the last generation to actually help stop climate change. Like, after us, I don't know. If we don't take a stand right now, it's only gonna get worse.